So it's early morning, I got up early. Testing the juice board still. It's supposed to be a decent enough day. Hopefully I'll get a fair bit of riding in. I do have a lot of other stuff to do. We taped a podcast on this day and a bunch of other stuff. So hopefully I'll get some riding in. There are some issues I have emailed Juiced. Hopefully I'll get a response back from them on some of my concerns, whether it's how it's supposed to work or whether it's not one being the controller that's about halfway back to neutral position that uh, the board actually starts to break, which is a little unnerving when you're going a lot faster. But, uh, and then a little bit further than that, it actually kicks into neutral. So I'm not sure what that's about. Hopefully they'll give me a response back and a couple other little things that I want to hear about before I talk about them. But anyways, I'm going to take it out uh, and go for a rip. We will see. Oh, it is red. So it quickly jumps from blue to red. So I got a total of 7.8 kilometers out of the charge. That falls short of the 11 kilometer claim. I also noticed this go around that there wasn't as much power. Obviously I'm gonna charge it up, do it again. You know, I just wanna make sure that it wasn't something weird with the charge or anything like that. I just wanna make sure that everything was essentially good and that we're being 100% fair with this review. But I'm gonna take a look at the footage the difference in acceleration seems to have changed vastly so from the first couple charges. I'm only actually four or five charges in now. Uh, the range also seems less as well. I noticed it when I rode it downtown last week that the range it just seemed to drop really, really fast. Same thing again. So what I am noticing is when the charge drops, so when we go from green light to blue light, there's a hesitation. So I don't know uh, when it switches, if there's something that's going on that limits the battery in the controller or what, but essentially there was kind of a drop, significant drop in power. That blue mode, which runs the battery to about 30%, doesn't last very long. It lasts about a kilometer. And then what happens is it just, it just stops basically. Uh, most likely, my guess is it's some sort of safety feature so you're not going really fast because the board does kind of change weirdly when it when it makes that switch. So what happened is when it switched to red, it was pretty much done. The ride was over. It would still break. So you could break. So if you were, let's say, at the top of a hill, you might be able to get a little bit of power back using the regenerative braking, go a little further. But essentially, and, and I'm on flat ground, Red means you're dead. So red, you're dead. Rides over, you're pushing plank, which is not a big deal. It's it's not actually terrible to push this thing. It is a little heavy, but it's it's not the worst thing. So I'm gonna charge it up now. We'll see how long that takes. We're gonna time it. Last time, they also claimed 45 minute charge. It most definitely didn't happen in 45 minutes. It was more like an hour and some, but we're gonna run the, through the charger now, keep track of that, run the stopwatch, see how it goes. So we're downtown and I'm just heading to Kyle's Media Lab event running a bit late but I will still make it on time so it's all good story used to hear to run on and to disappear Green screen with Matt Mort. Uh, Am I in the way? <laughs> I'm in space. Whoa! Yeah. I'm in a rodeo. Oh my! I am too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm in the 70s. Whoa! <laughs> Is that um, how people walk in the stuff? Yeah, like this. Oh, really oh. Jay, we did. We did. There's a couple of places up in East Yeah, that was in New York. That was back when Jay was like three. Where there's like a Jay is ancient. Yeah. That's not 70s. Yeah, that was. 
So there you have it, that was Media Lab. Now it's time to head home, work on some stuff, catch up with you in a bit. So we fully charged things up, it's going a lot better. The wheels are relatively soft. They've been good at going over gravel and stuff. What I'm about to do next, I do not recommend anybody do at all. You can take a look, there is more than enough gravel and rock to stop you. Wheels are a pass. The driver just showed up, got some cool stuff. I got some more parts from the Jeep. They're here now. Going on a little bit of a trip, so I won't be installing them right away, but I'll show you the boxes anyways. I'm excited. Just a couple things. So there you go. All new stuff for the Jeep. I'll be excited to put all that on. Be a good fun time. So keep an eye out for an unboxing and install video sooner, hopefully rather than later.